My name is Zaman Wadasafa. I work for AgriService Ethiopia. AgriService Ethiopia is a national NGO which is actually uh, doing some works on rural development. It has been there for the last 40 years. And our main focus is on agricultural development, but we are not actually working in terms of providing the service per se, but we are trying to establish community institutions and helping them empower or getting them empowered to do their own business by their own uh, resources, uh, but also with some additional support from ourselves. And one of the important tasks they are doing is in the area of livestock development, especially one of the projects we have around this uh, area, around Addis Ababa, is very much focused on livestock, on dairy development, and we're around trying to establish a kind of dairy hub, dairy business, where these community organizations come together and run uh, the different services to the community, like artificial insemination service, veterinary service, and feed processing and, and, and selling, uh, at the same time marketing of milk products. So this is, you know, one of a very fascinating idea. If we, if really, uh, if it really works uh, successfully, then our aim is to scale it up in the country. And we also know, you know, there are some institutions we are trying to do the same work. So hopefully, we will collaborate, learn together, and share with other government institutions in terms of how to help them scale up you know, this very good idea. So it's a kind of a business hub or a community it hub is, or something uh, in no, between? No, it is a business hub actually and that, that business hub is supposed to generate income for the community at the same time to provide service to the community, the grassroots community because most of the grassroots community, especially those who are really uh, located you know, far away from the main road are now getting the service in terms of business service, AI service and the feed uh, supply service. So this hub, which is just going to be located in the middle of the community, will be really you know, the, providing the service on the one hand. At the same time, they get some income from it and then run some other development works you know, using that income. Mm -hmm. so what's the biggest obstacle you think uh, or in, in put a hub like this together? Well, uh, it's challenging because it's quite new for our country. And uh, it's not easy for you know to bring people together and uh, establish an institution of this kind you know overnight. But uh, um, resources is the most important limitation actually because it really requires a lot of resources, and we are trying to get money from different sources. But that is probably one of the biggest limitation. And then the second one is the issue of sustainability. Once we are not there, then that business hub should really survive for itself. But uh, uh, we're not very sure at this moment. We have to really work a lot in terms of making it sustainable.